Hello, hi, namaste. This is Surabhi, your master teacher of chemistry at Vedantu. Welcome to a very interesting session. So the session title is Are Atoms Immortal? What happens after we die? So life is a journey. We meet new people. We lose our loved ones. So this is what we have been hearing. And we are kind of used to it. But we always miss those people right we never wanted to lose them we want them to be around us we wish that they were somewhere here watching me watching us grow watching us evolve into a better human so uh, in the movies or our elders have told us they have shown those bright stars in the sky and have told us look that's your grandma that's your grandpa but I never believed it I was like science even though I wanted my grandma to be around I, I didn't know like what happens what happens after someone dies what happens to the atoms so if you are also like me if you are also someone who is looking for the answer then this session is the one so, are you ready to know what happens after we die? Are atoms immortal? Are your loved ones around you? Or have they embarked on a beautiful journey to the uh, universe or to the stars? Let's see. So, almost 100 billion people have died. So, they have been either buried or cremated. Right? So we are, our world's population is 7.7 .7 billion. So what has happened to those 100 billion people? So we usually, once someone dies, what we do is we either bury them or cremate them. What happens then? What happens to all those tissues, the bones? If I have to talk each and every atom that is inside your body, which was doing its job 24 into 7. Let's see. But before that, let me answer another of your question that is how to score well and how to learn everything. I know. So this is, we want, everyone wants to uh, learn some, something, right? We have this thirst for the knowledge, which is very, very, very important. So what if I tell you, you can join this platform Vedanta Pro where you will be learning all the subjects by the most amazing master teachers in a very low price. Yes, low price but great knowledge. So visit the link given in the description and in the pinned comment. Use the coupon code SURPRO so that you can get additional 20% discount. So we're wondering why? Why should I take it? So you are also teaching on YouTube. So then let me tell you about the additional features which are available only on our platform. So once the session is done, I know you all love Menti, right? But once the session is done, you know, even if you watch the video again, because YouTube may this video to like Hamesha Rahega. But still there you can go back, watch the replay, and play the quiz. Be on the leaderboard. Because it's not your fault, right? You could attend the session, it's fine. We understand. So after every session, you will get the assignments which will help you to master, to practice a concept or a certain subject, which is very, very, very important, right? And there will be in-class doubt solving. How? Class teachers honge, master teacher bhi honge. So we will make sure that all of your doubts are resolved in the session so that you don't have to wait for the next session or a separate session doubt session no so along with that you will get free micro courses crash courses okay if a way down to is starting a new micro course or a crash course go enroll into it because you already are a pro subscriber so think of the advantages think how you will be better than the rest if you have a pro subscription so go get the pro subscription and use the coupon code SURPRO so that you can avail 20% extra discount. Okay, now we were having a very interesting conversation, right? Yeah. 
one sided but still i hope you are answering in the chat so what happens to the atoms when they die so what do you think so in the class 9 structure of atom lavoisier he stated that mass of reactants is equal to mass of products in a chemical reaction mass can neither be created nor be destroyed dalton said atoms cannot be created or destroyed during a chemical reaction so our life whole life is a chemical reaction right you eat food which is a chemical reaction you digest it which is a chemical reaction you leave out those products carbon dioxide which is a chemical reaction and you will utilize the energy which is a chemical reaction so what happens to the atoms when they die so once our body stops working the heart is not beating anymore the brain the brain has stopped functioning so what happens to those atoms which were involved in making sure that everything is working properly in our body so to understand that answer you need to know about the human body composition so we all know like 60% of it is water right and then you have nitrogen hydrogen carbon oxygen so those water vapors will be evaporated hai na so what happens once they are evaporated condensation clouds rainfall so you must be either drinking the water which contains the water molecules of your which belong to your loved ones whom we have lost or it might come down as rainfall which we all love to sit and watch with a cup of chai right so this is what happens to the water molecules and you have photosynthesis hai na so what are the reactants needed for the photosynthesis or synthesis of food we need carbon dioxide water where are you getting it from carbon so most of those um, elements like carbon nitrogen they will come out of your body as gases oxides of nitrogen carbon dioxide but the thing is they are greenhouse gases oxides of nitrogen are more potent than carbon dioxide but still carbon dioxide is kind of helpful because it takes part in the synthesis of food so once i die my great grandkids might be eating me i mean not of that form you know maybe in the leaves or the in the, in the rice or in the cereals which they eat because that's the product you are getting right so what happens to oxygen as i told you so it will come out as the oxides nitrogen honge ji right carbon dioxide so that is about the main composition but what about the soft tissues which we have so we all know about this metabolism right bacteria is the decomposition or decaying if we are if i'm talking about the uh, burying so if we have buried someone so what happens to their body so those soft is the soft tissues will be metabolized by the bacteria so oxygen jab tak rahega okay so in the presence of oxygen the metabolism takes place once there is no oxygen then anaerobic so the gases like ammonia and all those will be released or hydrogen sulfide will be released to the atmosphere so because 1 kg of mass 1 kg body mass it contains 32 g of nitrogen 10 g of phosphorus 1 g magnesium 4 g potassium so what is happening to them right so these elements will turn into gases so jo bhi elements the aapke body mein so what to vapor carbon as carbon dioxide nitrogen as nitrogen oxide oxides of nitrogen sulfur as sulfur oxide oxygen sulfur so this is with the burial what happens if we cremate someone so the ashes composition after cremation so those gases you know through the chimneys it will be um, evolved to get the gases will evolve but in that ash what what are the different compounds what are the different elements or the compounds or the substances present in the ash so the interesting thing is the weight of ash that you have left behind will be equal 
so that the mass will be equal to the mass of the baby you the infant when you were born the mass will be equal it seems isn't that interesting so these are the chemicals present in human ashes silica silica phosphate sodium calcium see most of them it is potassium i mean phosphate and calcium because a body me har jagah bones hai na so what is the composition what are these bones made of so that is the reason almost 47 plus 25% will be phosphate and sodium the remaining you will have magnesium potassium sulfate so at the end of the day there is those ashes it let me like you know either it will be sprinkled into the water bodies or it will go into the get into the soil it will act as a fertilizer because we know phosphate very important potassium important sulfates so they will act as fertilizers and again they will start producing the food for us so this is such a beautiful cycle but one more thing is very very small amount of radioactive elements will also be there in your body but they will undergo decay fission and those radioactive elements will be converted into normal elements like calcium lead lead is also radioactive i agree but the isotopes will differ but during this fission the helium will also be formed and we know our earth's atmosphere it cannot hold helium it's it's very light so it will get out of the atmosphere those atoms which were present in your body so it will get out of earth's atmosphere now it is somewhere near sun or other planets it will join them or it might start its journey into the stars into the universe so we all dream of uh, you know taking this beautiful journey right like i i want to know so what is around there because i have only seen pictures i have only read articles about them i have read books about the universe the black hole or what is happening this is a beautiful science but what if i tell you there is this possibility where few atoms of your body of you have will be taking that beautiful journey interesting right so let me know in the comment section like did you get goosebumps as i did when i first read about it so i have uh, watched uh, numerous videos and read so many articles to get to condense uh, all the information which i can give about atoms what happens to our atoms after we die so if you have any such uh, suggestions ma'am i want to know what will happen to this what is this and all that so if you have got those questions feel free to write it in the comment section ma'am i want to know so because i i as a kid was always curious about this so because you know we uh, we were taught about law of conservation of mass when we were in 7 to 8 so how is it happening what happens to our body so finally we have an answer right so do let me know in the comment section so how was the video did you enjoy it as much as i did because this concept is beautiful right so we always you know in those movies and all that we were like acha how to be immortal you know when i ask about what what uh, you know if you can have some superpower like i have seen people saying i want to be immortal i do not want to die so there there are n number of movies based on this immortality so what if i say few atoms are immortal not all the atoms are immortal so it's basically a beautiful cycle right we eat we die and we will help in the synthesis of food that our future generation will be eating So this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this session. And if you are here for the first time, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, share this video with your friends. If you have any queries, you can let me know. You can just write an email to surabi.r at 
with at the rate vedantu.com so thank you so much and reminding you about the pro subscription again visit the link given in the description and in the pin comment use the coupon code s u r p r o so pro is it is to get 20% discount why you go and check it out yes free 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 less is more because you will be using the coupon code s u r p r o so get that discount and join us because we are all excited to teach you people thank you thank you so much bye bye take care